Welcome everyone. In this video, I will talk about the importance of tracking and how Google AdWords can help this make this process extremely simple. In my opinion, all marketing efforts should be tracked and measured. The only way to improve your marketing is by measuring the metrics in your campaign and use that data to make smart business decisions. I'll start by showing you how you can add tracking codes to your landing pages so that you too can measure its effectiveness. So here we are at the Google AdWords homepage. Log into your account. Okay, this is the new interface for Google AdWords. Um, click on the Tools tab and click on Conversion Tracking. Okay, now we want to create uh, a new action to track. To do this, click on the create a new an action button okay now name your name your action try to be as specific as you can so let's say you're selling an anti-wrinkle cream and you want this conversion uh, to be for each person that buys your anti-wrinkle cream uh, then you might want to call it something like you know the name of the product the name of the product and then anti wrinkle cream purchase or something like that so let's say if your your product is called ABC uh, we'll call this ABC ABC anti wrinkle cream purchase it doesn't really matter what you put here but being specific now will help you to identify easier and faster when you go back to review it in the future Okay, this option is fairly straightforward. If you are tracking a conversion for a sale or a purchase, then um, you select this purchase sale option. If you are tracking the conversion for a sign up of a membership, select sign up leads, uh, view of a page, etc. So uh, for this one, we'll put in purchase sale. Down here, put in the value of that this conversion is worth to you. So if this conversion is for a sale or a purchase, then that's pretty simple. It's just putting in the value of you know the purchase price, or you know your if you're selling an affiliate um, product, it's just your commission on on that uh, on on the purchase of this product. However, if this conversion is for a lead, and you know that for every ten leads, for example, that you bring into the funnel, you get one sale, then what you would do is divide the price of the product. By ten, to work out the value of, you know, work out the value of this one lead. So, for example, if your product is a hundred dollars, uh, then given that you convert one in every ten leads to a buying customer, the value of this uh, that you would put here is ten for ten or uh, ten dollars. Okay, choose the language of your thank you page. Uh, conversion page security level. Uh, on your thank you page, look at the uh, the URL in the address bar. If you see, if it says HTTP, if it starts with HTTP, um, then you choose this one. If it starts with HTTPS, then you choose this one. Uh, what this does is it basically uh, uh, avoids a pop-up JavaScript security alert when your user uh, when your users reach the thank you page. So um, you know. It, if it's a HTTP, just select this one. HTTPS, select this one. Fairly straightforward. Okay, now choose one of these two options to display at the end, at the bottom of your landing page. If you don't want to show any of them, then um, you can select this one. But if you select none, then you must have a policy page on your website uh, uh, explaining to the user that you're you know you're tracking certain activities that the user is uh, the user is doing, um, you know, for tweaking purposes, etc. This is very important because failure to do this, uh, failure to have this um, policy page will result in a Google slap and you will get penalized. So uh, if you want to be safe, choose one of these. It's Basically what happens is this particular text here will be shown at the bottom of the thank you page when the users um, reach it. Okay, choose your background color and then click on the save action and get code button.
Okay, Google has created the tracking code for your thank you page. Now you need to paste this code, everything here. You need to select the whole code, copy it, right click, copy, and you need to paste it into your uh, into the body of your HTML. Uh, I, us I usually paste it just before the end of the body tag. So to give you an example, um, let's say uh, you open up your HTML file in Notepad and this is what it looks like. Uh, what you do is, we copied that code before, just go to edit and then find and then type in this, type in that, press the find next button, press cancel, once you find it, on the line just before it, um, paste the code from Google, so right click and paste and then save it and upload it to your uh, server and uh, you have the tracking code. This is for your thank you page, right? So paste that code into your thank you page. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, if it all sounds too technical for you, don't worry, just tell your web, de tell your web developer to do it or hire um, a web developer to, to get this done for you. Okay, so when you're done, uh, click return to conversion tracking button and that will complete the process. Now if you go back to your campaign uh, and provided you've installed the code correctly every time you get a conversion it will tell you here uh, see so you see on these columns there's a cost per conversion uh, conversion many per clicks conversion rate you know this is how many conversions you have how much it costs you for each conversion, the conversion rate of your ad. Uh, you know, ha having this sort of information is very, very useful for you to to um, measure and then tweak your campaign to improve its performance. Basically, you look at this data and uh, determine if if your if the value of your conversion, which means, let's say, if your uh, if your conversion is for a purchase and the purchase is for a $100 uh, item and you get the full $100, uh, if the value of the conversion is $100 and your cost per conversion is less than $100, then you are in the profit zone. In my home study course, I show you what you can do to improve all these statistics in great depth. So, And to get it, just navigate your browser to www.payperclickacademy.com. Um, this has been Down Under and I wish you all the best with your new AdWords campaign. For more free videos like this one, go to www.paperclickacademy.com.